Blues to go at it in the AFLW and the former teammates in Moody and Downey early as Aliso Day pegged as their general in the midfield to get them structured and Moody slides in on the 45 for the mark and this will be another feature of Carlton's new and improved game plan they hope. Vessio at the back, almost Collingwood, Lambert, tricky ball to trap, does so. Moody relieving Mark in the fingertips, a huge play. Providing ruck relief as well. Blue start the second term, two points to the good. Second siren and a start to the third quarter here as Moody has the better of the most recent. Off. She was called straight off by the coach of Carlton there. Uh, and Carlton coach. Stayed down, dances through Brooke Walker, chips, and Moody takes an important mark on the chest. So that's pressure. Margin at 15. I think equally Carlton's kick ins have got a little bit of work to be done. Well, Luifi to Moody. So Moody again, you would think has the experience in the class edge. Good time, all Australian. Started well. Under pressure, the Blues defence. Six inside 50s to zip. It's just an issue for the Cats, isn't it, Sarah? Just got to get reward for effort. They just need to find ways to hit the scoreboard more often, put teams under scoreboard pressure. We talk about working your way through to the contest. So if they can... The Cats having that extra number around the ball, but just haven't been able to hit the scoreboard. Moody, again, with a beautiful tap down. Gunjaka gets it to the top of the square. Got to be careful here, the Blues. Moody under pressure. Just got the handball away. Well done. OK, thanks, Bryony. Here we go. Just to get some reward for effort and get that 12-point lead. Fantastic to see. Out supporting AFLW. Moody thumps it. Just need to continue to find ways to score more often. Kearns, oh. she might be one. She loves taking the game on. You don't mind that if you're a coach or a supporter. Always looking to move the game forward is Rachel Kearns. Kicked her first goal in AFLW in the second quarter. But run down by the ruck, Moody. So thing I think they're missing is Conway's width that she'll hold out really well as that winger. Perfect start for the Lions. Just kind of done it twice. <laughs> Bree Brock, who's the head of Lions women's footy, said... Plane goes back to Moody. He's got to change. There needs to be a gear shift. There needs possibly a player movement. Just to... Up and spin. That was awesome. Handball comes out. Kick comes out, rather, from Vickers to Moody. Again, shows off their athleticism. That's a terrific kick as well. Putting it into the path. Big uh, hip and shoulder there from Lana Leaf. He allowed the Blues to clear. And there is Pine said, where is my free? Instead, Dawes takes the opportunity. And... Hugh is Saundry's favourite player, Zimmy, and I'm pretty sure she's got a, a jersey on order already. <laughs> Couldn't quite find Smith in the goal square. Hard to get past the hands of Bree Moody. That's what the Blues need her at the moment. Big long right foot kick is absolutely outstanding. Traps it. Kick smothered. Lalawee from the corner. What a beautiful tap to herself. And then kicks high towards half forward. But Moody struck the mark. Able to 38 point advantage. It's currently Carlton's third biggest losing margin. Keep our eyes on that. Moody, inside 50, oh, oh big collision, Ellinger going back with the fly to Blues player. Ashmore delivers it low inside 50, Moody in the best position, we spoke about her marking prowess. And, and, and to finally kick the goal. Moody in the ruck against Rennie, here is Moody, that one comes off the instep. Brown off to Riddell again, another inside 50 for Ash. That's a really good strong mark from Moody, Gilroy shut it down. Moody will come over the top of Rennie. Finds Bateman. Call to go. Straight towards Moody. Good day to centre half forward. Moody's pushed forward to the contest. Well, well done. Got to run it to the outside. Instead, she'll just launch it herself. One of the longest, most powerful kicks in the competition. She gets going to have to come out and confront her. Bresnahan drives it to 20 out from goal. Well done, Moody. Back there from Antonio. Plains kick off the side of the boot, so it does go into the corridor, but it will bounce onto the chest of Moody. Sells it across to the advantage of Toff. Not past Lalawifi, but former demon. Plenty of experience, multiple time All-Australian. Moody. Work by Fremantle. And it's working for them. Moody with a nice mark. 
contested possessions, that's where you can get opened up a little bit on the outside. Seven inside 50s to three it was for the Saints, but now it's the Blues again through Matty Gear and goes deep to the top of the square. Moody resting deep, couldn't take the mark, but she'll get the free kick. And from straight in front, she gets her first goal of the season, and the Blues have got two in a row. It's Moody to go forward and, and play a forward role, and, and what a clearance it was there. They were just clean out of the midfield, and, you know, if you're sending your rock, your rock deep forward, you want to get it in there quickly and get it right on top of their head, because as a defender, you, you panic when you see the tallest player. The Saints could try anything they can do to at least give themselves... ..with a bit more depth in their midfield. So the kick from Prasparkas on the opposite. The All-Australian ruck in Moody. Who kicks it long and deep. Again, puts the Saints defenders under pressure. Vessio being dangerous all game. On the left boot. What a class finish from Vessio. Didn't they? It was really well done. As, oh, Lalawifi just dazzled them all. They didn't know what was happening. It goes to the top of the square. Moody again, standing tall. Takes the mark. Hit the top of the square and, like you said, Moody again down there, takes a contested mark and gets no, another goal. Yeah, the luxury of having the two rucks in the side allows Moody to go forward. She's got her second of the afternoon. That's her second for the season. And the Blues continue on their merry way. Oh, shows the candy. Yeah, I just <laughs> read it well off the, off the contest there. The, the Saints players around there must have thought it didn't get out and Lalawifi tricked them all and just that's what you love from your ruck when they do go forward and proposals in the opening minute as McKinnon tries to burst through the moody tackle but she's not going anywhere the back of a 20 disposable game last week one of her career high best you ball use another youngster in Georgia Garnet been trying to work on their ball movement so underway second quarter and it was a beautiful tap from Bree Moody Goes long down the line there, is Moody now, playing as a forward, as we said. The ruck go forward, and just look at the hops here, gets a bit of air. There she is at ground level, can do everything, Bree Moody, and did well not to give away the free kick on Alicia Evo. She might actually get the free kick. Half midfielder that runs with her every week, and so she earns every part of her game. Still just 21 years of age. But this is good for Carlton, repeated inside 50s. See the disposal count. We know the Blues are a high disposal team, and that was a beautiful tap from Moody into the path of McKay. Yep, the most prolific goal kicker in AFLW history. Inside 50 count this quarter. 11 inside 50s for Carlton. Yeah, you can see how much time has been played in the Blues' front half in this. I'm starting in the middle for the Giants. Just the six disposals for her tonight. So, talk left in this one. It's been a tough little period. Sparkus. The handball away, and here's Moody. A long, penetrating kick inside forward 50. The afternoon, and it's early danger signs for Gold Coast, who consider the first three goals against St Kilda last one of our better players um, and at all. Um, so I'm not really surprised that she's come in and made an immediate impact and been very consistent for us. Aaron's searching handball's a good one to Yorston. Just under pressure with the kick, and Moody's standing underneath it at centre-half forward. So the Blues with repeat inside 50 entries. Moody just unloads and kicks a long one. And the umpire's found a free kick going. So Carlton can bring it out of defence and Bree Moody's all alone on the outer side wing. Good build up by the Blues. Oh, just lost her footing. Oh, but showing a clean set of heels, Bree Moody with a few bounces, runs to 50, oh. kicks a long one to the square. The training, we call it the tractor. <laughs> Once she gets going, she's really got some pace. She's uh, self-proclaimed the quickest at the club, so <laughs> it's on display there. I don't mind seeing that at all. Be an issue. She strikes it well. Doesn't quite have the distance, though. And Always been really solid for us, the original girls that have been down there, Kez, Gab, Nat Plain, Mua, um, and slotting in, they've made it really seamless. So oh, Moody's off to the races again, just gets past Bella, has another couple of bounces. And I mean, Jess, probably ahead of Lauren Bella. I mean, Lauren Pierce has had a good season. She has, as well. yeah, it's she has. It's on the end of it again. And around the footy, Moody finds a hand pass out to Hill. Back in the side this week. 
Goes on her left, up towards Moody. That'll be an interesting battle in the yeah. rut too, Moody v Pierce. Moody spots a target. Carlton go forward, it's just an out number from a Melbourne perspective. To you, you've got an update for us on Liv Purcell. Yeah, just keeping an eye on Liv. She get the umpire said it was okay. Lauren Pierce tries to get through a few. Did the full 160. There behind the footy just to see if they can just soak it up rather than be scored against heavily and then be chasing again. Here in kick, Lalawifi, a little tap to Moody. Cleverly done, throws it inside, 50. Outnumbered by Dee's defenders, but still made it count. Quality passage of play for Carlton. Moody just goes with a huge punch from